What's up guys, it's Colin, welcome back to another video on the Breaking Act channel, and today's video is my newest custom set for you guys. To coincide with its upcoming release on Disney+, Plus, I've made a Lego set based off of Marvel's Daredevil. So without further ado, let's take a look at my latest custom set, Nelson and Murdoch Law Firm. The first figure is of course Matt Murdock. He uses the Commissioner Gordon hair from the Lego Batman movie in dark brown. He has a smiling expression as well as some red tinted glasses. He has a red and brown striped tie and a gray suit as well as a black bar for his cane and on the other side of his face he has an angrier expression. The next figure is Matt Murdock's alter ego, the man in the mask himself, Daredevil. This guy is super detailed. He has armor printed all over his body, dual molded legs, he has dark red eyes just like in the show, and he uses the Black Panther ears piece just flipped around and in dark red. Finally, his accessories are of course the batons that he uses to keep the streets of Hell's Kitchen safe. The third figure is Karen Page. She uses the Black Widow hair piece in blonde. She has a smirking expression as well as dual molded arms and a blue shirt. She has a gold necklace like in the show, and she has a black skirt. She also has a frightened expression on the other side of her face. Finally, we have the Kingpin himself, Wilson Fisk. He has a black tuxedo and an angry expression that was actually based off of Wilson Fisk from the LEGO games, and overall I think this figure turned out really accurate. Unfortunately, I couldn't give him another facial expression because he's bald, but I think this one encapsulates his character pretty perfectly. So now getting into the build, the first part you're going to notice is the entrance, and next to it is a 2x3 sign saying Nelson and Murdoch Attorneys at Law, just like in the show. Over to the right you can see a security camera coming out, and there's a tiled off sidewalk all around. Although it isn't exactly location accurate to the show, I wanted to include at least one of the fight scenes, so I decided to include the little alleyway fight from the ending of Season 1, where Daredevil and Fisk face off. Anyways, you can see a brown fire escape coming off the side of the building, as well as some destroyed sidewalk and just rundown areas. The first floor is pretty simple. There's a brown door in the back where you can see the entrances. There is a brown couch, as well as a tiled off floor, save for a few studs where you can position your minifigures. There's a few newspapers all around, as well as a light brown desk and a blue chair. The fifth figure is Frank Castle, the Punisher. He uses the Captain America hairpiece in black. He has a cocky smirking expression, as well as a black jacket with a lot of pockets. Underneath that is the iconic Punisher skull, and he has some black pants as well as a belt. He has an angry expression with some scratches as well. And finally, he has a black gun that he can use to punish people. Next up is the other half of Nelson and Murdoch, Foggy Nelson. He has the Han Solo hairpiece in light brown, he has a smirking expression as well as a brown suit with a purple tie, and the other side of his face is a more worried expression. The final figure in the set is Elektra, and this minifigure is based off of her black and red suit. She uses the long ponytail piece in dark brown, she has an angry expression as well as a smirking expression, dual molded arms and legs, and she uses one of the Ninjago masks in dark red as well as a sword to represent her more battle ready outfit. The second floor is again an office area. As you can see, there is a brown desk with a blue lamp on it. Behind that is another blue chair. And to the right are some drawers. Behind that is a bookshelf with probably some evidence and case files. And I did mention this earlier, but you might have noticed some newspapers all around the building. So let's take a closer look at those now. As you can see, I've made three 2x2 printed tiles of New York Bulletin papers that are actually from the show. I tried to make it as accurate to what LEGO would actually make while still maintaining accuracy to the source material. The first one is based off of the Frank Castle case, saying Trial of the Century on the front. The second one is based off of the Battle of New York, saying Stark Tower Ruin during the Battle of New York on the front. And my apologies for the crappy image, that's the best one I could find. And finally, the last one says Daredevil Collars Fisk. Anyways, here's the set all together with all the figures, and here's the box art that I made. I really think I'm improving, especially with the box art. Anyways, that's about all I have for you guys today. If you do have any other suggestions for LEGO sets that I could make based off of Daredevil or anything else, then make sure to leave them down below in the comments. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Have a great day, and go build something awesome.